Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marco of Living Streams International, bringing you Matters of Faith, the Graphic Online. Uh, this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts with the words, Palace Rendezvous. Now, here, here's the interesting thing for me. You know, I mean, um, Joseph's brothers, you know, they, they, they took him up and the Bible said they, they beat him, they stripped him of his clothes, they sold him into slavery. He went and he went to Potiphar's house and Potiphar's wife also gave a blatant lie about him. I mean, spoke a lie about him and falsely accused him. And as a result of that, he ended up in the dungeon in the palace. He ended up in the dungeon in the palace. So there were two people who were very, very, very dangerous or who really did Joseph a lot of harm. The first one is his brothers. The second one is Potiphar's wife. And the sum total of everything that they did was that he landed in jail, in the dungeon, in the palace. But one way or the other, by a mechanism of God, one way or the other, by a move of God, Joseph was removed from the prison and then he became a prime minister in the palace. In the palace. So now here's the interesting thing now that takes you one more step further. Two people will be meeting him in the palace. Potiphar's wife, that's the immediate, and then there's the immediate past, and then his brothers, the distant past. So all the two people, or the two personalities that have wounded him and that have treated him them in a very bad way, were about to meet him in the palace. So what they had meant for evil, God turned it out for good. And God set up a rendezvous. You will meet him. This time, you will meet him not as a small boy who is running around for him to be beaten. You will meet him as, not as a small boy whose robes you can tear his garment and strip him naked. Or you're going to meet him not as a servant in your house where you are going to attack him and defrock him, you know, because you want to rape him and then accuse him. You're going to, you're not going to remove his, his servant clothes with accusation. You're not going to do that. But this time you're going to meet him in the palace wearing the robes of splendor. Not just one, many other robes. Palace rendezvous. Sometimes when people do wrong to somebody, sometimes it is a setup. It is a divine setup. God is saying, okay, is this what you threw away? Is this what you did? You will meet the person in the palace. You will meet the person in the position of prominence. You will meet that person in the corridors of power. You will meet that person. And uh, I, I like the word people say, you will meet your meter. <laughs> I like that. You, you will meet that person. You will for sure meet that person. And so be very careful how you handle people in, in the deserts of their lives. And be very careful how you handle people when you are in a position of prominence above them. When you are higher than them, be very careful how you handle them. Because sometimes the people who are nobodies today, God has set up a palace rendezvous between you and those people. You will meet them in the palace. Are you going to meet them in the palace in fear and trepidation like the, the brothers of, 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 of Joseph when they recognize who he has become? They were afraid. Or would you, would you meet him in the palace? Would you have a palace rendezvous where you put your face down? When, can you imagine when Potim, uh, Joseph is driving in his second chariot and Joseph is driving by or, or, or he's riding in his second chariot or Joseph is, is, is moving in there and then Potiphar comes to the palace to come and do, uh, come and work for the, for Pharaoh. And then here stands, uh, Joseph. What are you going to do? Are you going to bow your head in shame? When it's time for the palace rendezvous? Or are you going to bow your head in, 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 in fear when it's time for the palace rendezvous? Mind you, there was another person who also had a palace rendezvous with, with Joseph, and that was the butler. And the butler spoke well about Joseph to Pharaoh. So when the time comes and Joseph is riding and listening, the, the butler can say, ah, there goes my friend. There goes somebody I help push destiny. 
That goes somebody. I provided a platform for his destiny. I didn't dig a pit for him. For sure, there'll be palace rendezvous. And you have three options. You either bow your head in fear or you bow your head in shame or you raise up your head in pride and know that you are part of that story of promotion and progress. Choices are yours. Palace rendezvous. See you later.